welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Janika I'm a special ed teacher in the state of Texas and in today we are going to be cash envelope stuffing um, my money for paycheck one this is not my entire paycheck this is just the portion that I will be stuffing in the envelopes and we are stuffing everything today we're doing savings challenges sinking funds revolving funds and fixed expenses so if you like these kind of videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and let's get started so i'm gonna pull my revolving funds uh sinking fund not sinking funds <laughs> my revolving cash envelopes out of my little pouch here and how i usually like to do it is whatever is left over from these envelopes is what gets stuffed into my 2021 savings challenges so in gas I have $15 left over. In groceries, I have $6 left. In home, I have, uh, was that 12? $12 left. And I believe that is the last of my leftover money. I didn't stuff anything for medicine and spending is all gone. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and take out my saving challenges envelopes that I keep in the back of my binder here. And these are the ones that will get stuffed for today. So for the year 2021, I am doing the rollover savings challenge the five dollar savings challenge the one dollar savings challenge and the fetch rewards savings challenges which my code will be in the description box along with all other information so in rollover i usually will stuff if i have leftover tens and twenties so these two tens will come into the rollover envelope and in this envelope, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So $170 in the rollover envelope. And I have two fives to go in my $5 savings challenge. So that will put me at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. And then for the $1 savings challenge, I have three ones. So that will put me at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this is all of the money that I have saved um, from just having like leftover money um, from my revolving envelopes. And I'm thinking that my envelope is getting a little too small for this money, but I don't know, we'll see. And um, before 2021, I would just like either roll this money over to the next paycheck or just put it back in my savings account. But I decided it would this would be a fun way to um, see how much money I could save from leftover money. And then at the end of the year, I am more than likely gonna put this money toward debt. So next, I am going to stuff my revolving funds. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take the money out of the envelope here. And I've already kind of sorted it out so that I could uh, quickly put it in the tray. I'm wondering if I even need yeah, I will need every slot. Okay. And then I'm going to check the frame real quick to make sure everything is in frame as best as it can be. And I'll go ahead and count the money. So for 100s, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 1,100. 50s, 51, 52, 53, 50, 
350 for 20, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 200, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have $1,734 that we will be stuffing in the remaining envelopes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my revolving envelopes again. Go ahead and pull these out and get them in order. So I have home, then spending, then gas, then groceries and medicine. So home is going to get $20. And I'm hoping I don't need more than that this week, but I don't know, we'll see. Spending will get 200. I do plan on getting my hair done. I've been planning it, I feel like for a few weeks and I haven't gotten it done yet. Um, not to mention like Texas just had the whole snowstorm situation. So that probably ruined some plans too. Gas is getting 75, so I'm gonna go 50. 70 and five, which is another reason why I had $15 left over for gas. I usually, I may have a five left over for gas here or there, but I usually, that no more than that, but we were um, snowed in for a while. Groceries also 75, 50 and 70 and a five. And then um, for medicine, I'm going to give it a 10. So I'm gonna put these back in my little pouch here. And then next we will be stuffing. Um, I do have an extra five here in case y'all saw that, but I uh, bought some Girl Scout cookies that I need to pay for. So that's what that's going to. Um, next, we will be stuffing my sinking funds. So for my sinking funds, I have these pink envelopes. I also have some rose gold pouches or envelopes, whatever y'all call them. But I will only be stuffing the pink ones today. And we will start with travel. It is going to be getting five dollars so i'm gonna grab a five and that's gonna put me at one two three hundred three twenty three forty three forty five three fifty three fifty one three hundred fifty two so five added gave me three or gives me three hundred fifty two Next, I will stuff my gifts envelope and gifts will be getting $10. So now I have 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 91, 92, 193. So 10 added is 193. School plans will not get stuffed. Um, car maintenance is going to get 60. So I did get a special education bonus on this check. I think it was like 600 and something dollars. So y'all will see like what I end up doing with that, but, um, or some of, some of my extra money and $50, $50 extra will go to car maintenance. I usually put 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and put 60. So give that 60. And 10 back here. I'm gonna write 60 so I don't forget what I added. 100, 200, 
250, 300, 320, 340, 350. And my church envelope will get $20. And I get a lot of questions about the church envelope and like what it's for. Um, hold on, let me count it. So 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 305. Yeah, I get a lot of questions about what it's for. Um, because I do have a tithe envelope, so people will ask, like, what's the difference? But, like, um, so there are, you know, other things that happen at church outside of just, like, giving your tithes if you do give um, your tithe. So we do, like, we give to the homeless, we give to the elderly, we give to children um, around, like, back to school time um holidays we give to the less fortunate and then sometimes we give to each other just like for birthdays and things like that so that's what the church envelope is for medical is getting 50. and that will put me at 100 200 250 270 290 310. So 50 added is 310. My birthday envelope is getting 20. And so that puts me 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540. And last but not least is my miscellaneous envelope, which I'm paying myself back for some unbudgeted expenses when I move. Um, they're probably stuck in here somewhere. I have the little receipts to remind me. I need a total of $245. So we are almost there. 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 210, $220. So... I will be happy once I have completely paid myself back for those expenses or just intentionally saved the money back. And so next I will be stuffing my fixed expenses. So I'm going to start with my tithes envelope. It is getting $295, $1, $2, $50, $100, $200, $250, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1
of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.